It's something you typically don't see on former mine sites, medicinal herbs for human consumption. Yeah, it smells really good. The aromatic smell, a lot of this is used for ceremonial purposes. It's also the heart of the reclamation effort carried out on Navajo and Hopi land. Oh, I always tell um, my coworkers and management um, that what I do is personal to me because I'm a stakeholder, not just from being an employee, but also being a member of the Navajo tribe. The mine is on the verge of closing. The owners had to make that difficult decision after its sole customer announced it would cease operations. But reclamation at the site will go on for years. The mine's legacy will not only include medicinal herbs, but the extensive use of geomorphic reclamation. And we also put in um, features linear rock features, rock piles for the use of animals we commonly refer to as critter condos. And we re made waterways, conveyance structures, ponding areas. The reclaimed area is about 854 acres. The company wanted to use a balanced mix of topsoil and red rocks and achieve a solid hydrologic system. It required special efforts to stabilize the slopes. The company looked for stability in other ways. With the mine closing, the owner wanted to help ensure a future economic benefit, so it put an emphasis on cultivating grazing land. Reclamation provides quality forage, which improves overall herd health. Good quality forage also reduces cost of ownership and increases profitability and income for my family. By combining the use of 20-plus species such as one seed juniper, yucca, big sagebrush, and rubber rabbit bush for tribal medicine men, the project successfully incorporates environmental restoration with economic and spiritual value. We restored Mother Earth to its pristine condition. An effort that led to a national award for Peabody's Cayenta Mine.